know how microphones work. Can I, I don't. Know. Yes. Go. Um, hi, I'm Jester. I'm a seventh grader. I'm Possum. I'm an eighth grader. I'm LJ. I'm an eighth grader, and we're from Westside Middle School. Newsflash! We are all misfits. This is our poem, Embrace Us. Trigger warnings, racism, transphobia, homophobia, self-harm, eating disorders, intolerance. In every middle school in America, children are afraid to be themselves. Gender stereotypes are hurled at them as fast as bullets from a gun. No man will love you if you don't shave. Boys can't wear pink. Be a man. If you don't fit into their perfect mold, then, then into, into the incinerator, incinerator you go. In every middle school in America, diversity is frowned upon. Now prejudice is trendy and cool. Silky white skin is the reminder of self-worth. But anything else is a stain of being diverse. Somewhere in Nebraska, an Indian girl stands sheepishly in the lunch line, scrunching her nose against the pool water smell of, of the, the school's tandoori chicken. Before she can pay for her food, she is assaulted by abrasive attitudes. Hey, half-breed. What even are you? You're Indian, right? Pasty white girls stare at her as if she were an alien, then turn to the brown girl. Do you think you could warm this up for me, hun? What, what does, does that, that even mean? mean? One of the girls picks up the sad excuse for Indian rice on her tray and throws the white hot grains at the girl like, like some, some demented, demented wedding, wedding guest. The sting seeps through the girl's skin, adding to the scars her words cause. Somewhere in Texas, Texas, a trans boy trembles as he hears the substitute calling attendance because that boy knows that he will never be understood. But the jocks say that being dead named is nowhere near as scary as tearing your ACL. The preppy girls say that smudging your mascara is way worse than being born in the wrong body. The, the governor, governor says his parents, parents are abusive for even raising him. Nobody around him understands what it's like. They just understand how to yell transphobic slurs in the halls. How does what is in someone else's pants affect you. Somewhere, Somewhere in Florida, a Christian girl is looking at herself in the mirror and crying because she cannot stand how she looks. She looks at herself and wonders why she, she can't, can't be skinny and pretty, pretty like, like the, the other, other girls. girls. She cries and cries, wishing she could cut pieces of her away and, and throw, throw them in the, the trash. trash. How could God love her if she doesn't love herself? She starves herself. And she harms herself. Red wine, wine dripping from, from her skin. skin. Pulling a silver crucifix along her arms. A bloody Bible below her. She says a prayer to die. As she closes her eyes. Gluttony is a sin. Forgive me, Father. After she's gone, this overindulgence shan't plague me. We dream of a day when people like this Indian girl, this trans boy, this Christian girl will be not only tolerated, not only accepted, not only dealt with, but embraced in every middle school in America.